All right, guys. Now I'm gonna work on a on a hammerhead. Someone uh, for Christmas gave me a bunch of jock bunks, a box of jock junk <laughs> that uh, I'm going to. Uh, I cleaned it. One was an axe head. Now I got a hammerhead. But uh, this says U.S. has 80. U.S. 80, and then it has. Looks like some figure of a, I don't know, eyes, a face, a mask. And then it says, it's got an H with a line underneath it. And then a number three, which is, this is a three pound. And then I bought these uh, earlier this year. Well, it's the end of the year now. Well, I guess it's the last day of the year. But anyways, I have bought a dozen or so of these handles down at Fort Worth at the flea market for $3 a piece. I'm going to put a handle on I actually like the stubby ones. Uh, I find myself using this one quite a bit. This is going to be the same, just about the same size. But I like this little blue point. I use it quite a bit. Uh... But, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting hammer poor, I think. Um, anyways, you know, I just noticed something. Look at that. It looks like it's bowed. Right there. It might just be an illusion. No, it's not an illusion. It's definitely bowed like that. Well, that's strange. Cast like that? I don't have another hammer like this. Anyways, I got so many hammers now. I hate. I just hate to throw this away. So, uh, this was used. It's got some dings and dents in it. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is just like they did at the factory. I'm going to paint this part of it black and just shine this part and this part. And make me another hammer. Not that I need another one, but I like my hammers. Now that I have very different hammers, it's nice to just grab something and for the job. Uh, even when before my shop burnt down, I didn't have that many hammers, and now I realize there's different hammers for different jobs. So, I don't mind. For free, I got this for free and this for three bucks. I'm going to put it together and I'm going to have me a good little hammer. Uh, at least I think. I don't like the way this thing is made, though. It's got a lip right inside there, I just noticed. You know, it looks like... Yeah, that's the way... Huh. Looks like this is the way it was actually made to go through. All right, doesn't matter. I'll fix this hammer up. I'm gonna soak it in some Rust-Oleum rust dissolver just to get the surface rust. And There is some pretty heavy rust in there, so I'm just gonna get that off, clean it up real good. We'll go from there. All right, guys. All right, I'll let this hammerhead set in the the uh, oh, Rust-Oleum rust remover. It's, it plainly says 80 and then US on it. And then the other side, it's definitely got a, I don't know if that's supposed to be a worker's face. And then the H with a line and the number three, which is three pounds. Hmm. Never seen one like this before. This. Anyways, let's. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the wire wheel and then uh, put on the buffer on these two ends.
All right, guys. I just put the uh, the I keep forgetting what to call it, but I call it Scotch Brite pad. It's a uh, oh oh well, what the heck? Wire wheeled the rest of it and just kind of a little shine on that and that. Now I'm just going to polish. You can see this must have been used. There's a ding there. It's got a few imperfection marks. The casting's kind of, I don't know, it's uh, just a rough casting. I don't care, it's going to make a good hammer though. Let's polish it a little bit and then I'll tape it off and paint it. Changed my mind. Instead of just throwing a light polish on this, I'll make it look nicer. I'm going to clean this up on the belt sander and then put it on the uh, Scotch Brite wheel. And then polish it. I don't know. I just want to do a little more today. Change this sanding belt. It's at 80 grit. It's kind of worn, and I'm going to put this. Uh, I'm not sure what to call this pad. It's a oh, there again. I, I keep wanting to call this stuff Scotch Bright, but it's a it's a sanding pad, but it's made of. Uh, call it scotch bright material this is a fine I think I got a fine a medium and a coarse I can't get the coarse to work on this machine though
right guys taped ends gonna paint the rest of it black and then work on the handle and I'm just gonna cut a slot for the hammer Get ready to put this hammer together I hope I can finish it today quite a bit I think all right let me finish this off and uh, get back to it in a moment all right guys today I've been first day off been working all week so I'm gonna finish this hammer my brother-in-law gave me a bunch of junk and this was one of the things in that pile of junk he gave me for Christmas so I want to show him how it turned out I'm glad to be off work too. Man, <clears throat> I laid some tile this weekend, which you guys probably don't care about laying tile, but it's the biggest tile I've ever laid. I've never laid tile that was 47, 48 inches long, 17 inches tall, a whole wall of that stuff. That was some work. Oh yeah. Fit it in there like that. Got my sham. I had to buy this. 25 cents, which it's not bad. So let's uh let's hit it a few times. Oh, that was a wrong hit. pretty good. I want to go in further. Look at that. Chipped it right there. It was already pretty bad there, but that's all right. It's 
about all I'm going to get. Put that shim in there right there. Let me, uh, maybe I'll go to the vise. It might be best to go to the vise. Well, kind of screwed up. The first shim, I, I started it and I shut. I, I didn't realize didn't have the camera on. First shim broke. The wood, I don't know what it was. It just split. So I got a piece of some hardwood here. And that ain't going right. It's off to one side, so I have to start it again. I'm gonna go right there. This hammer is giving me a lot of problems. So, yeah, this ain't working out the way I want it to. Oh, well. And, well, turn it. Cut it off and see what I've done. I don't think this is going to work very good. Man, that just split all to heck. Let me set this up in the saw and cut the end off and see what it looks like. saw I picked up I just want to see how it works clean it up actually works pretty good Not too bad. I'll put the metal shim in there and see how that works. <clears throat> it's almost a fail video, it looks like. Keep going, see how far I screw up. Well, it's in there. It's definitely not loose. <laughs> now, I do not like it. <laughs> you know how when you do something, sometimes it just sucks? <laughs> well, this turned into a sucky deal. <laughs> I split the handle. I don't like the feel of it. <laughs> and I don't like the way the head turned out. Oh well, shoot, <laughs> man that really sucks, alright, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stain this handle <laughs> and just leave it like it is, this will be my trash handle, man, I'll post this video just for someone to laugh at me, <laughs> it did turn out the way I wanted it to. All right, just throw a little coat of stain. I got some of this uh, golden oak. Well, can't win them all, I guess. I ain't still gonna be usable. I think, you know what I might do? I think I'm gonna fill the end of this handle down here with epoxy. Why not? Got a bunch of it. I mean, if it works for, you know, a couple
couple hundred strikes. I mean, the head on it's really in good shape. It's just, uh, don't get in the d bucket. It's really where I split the handle. Look at that split right there. God, it really shows up now. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it's funny now. It's I was mad at myself at first, but well, ain't no big deal. Nobody died. Nobody died from it. It ain't that, that big a deal. Yeah, I think I'm going to fill that with epoxy. Why not? Just fill it with epoxy and then sand it. Hell, what the, what, what's it going to hurt? All right, be right back. Let me get some epoxy and let this dry for a little bit. All right. Mixing up some epoxy real quick. I know, I know. Somebody out there ain't gonna like this idea, but my tools, my rules, what the heck. Plus, you don't hit you don't hit the handle down here. I just don't want splinters in my hand when I go to use this thing. Another thing I think I could have done is probably wrap the handle with some uh, wire, maybe, or wet leather band. And let it draw up and dry. That actually might not have been a bad idea. I never have got to try that. I haven't tried that in a long time. Once it's dry, I'm just I'm trying to force it in the cracks. I knew I shouldn't use this. It's got a bunch of worm holes and stuff in it, and I'm sure it was seconds. That's why I got it so cheap back back in the summer. Three dollars for a hammer handle. You know it's you know it's not the best handle in the world. What the heck? I don't care. Come think about it. I ain't got nothing invested in this hammer. It's free head. Three bucks in the handle. Come on. Plus, I like my shorties. You ever been in a tight place where you need to swing a hammer? And you just can't because there's too much in the way. Well, that's what this one, this hammer here, would be good for. I don't know about you guys. You ever been in an air handler the size of a small box truck and you're trying to push the bearings out of the shaft, out of the squirrel cage, and you're working inside a small size, like a refrigerator? Now this is where you need a hammer like this. <laughs> it is funny, I don't care who you are screwing up this bad. All right, let's see what happens after this. <laughs> we'll get back to it. All right guys, I just want to show you. I epoxied this, I'm gonna sand it now. I'll come back and show you what I how bad I screw up. <laughs> I did. I, <clears throat> and if you look at the handle, it's got uh, worm holes in it, and I shouldn't have beat on it so hard. I'm sure this was probably seconds. But what the heck? I'll be back here in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's the <laughs> part of the worm holes there. I stuck epoxy in there best I could. I filled epoxy in the cracks. <clears throat> and there's, you could see a little bit of epoxy on the end down here. So, and then of course, the wormholes in the handle. I kind of think it's cool. I, it may weaken it, but it's a short stubby handle. Let's see what we got here. From bottom of the head, say eight and a half inches. 
overall we're looking at ten and a half. So says USA, I believe that's eighty. And then number three, it's three pound. Not sure what the silly face and the H with the line. So I don't know. Good little hammer. It's uh I like the shorty hammer. Sometimes a short hammer is all you need. You don't need to hit a lot, but I don't know. It'll it'll be alright. I don't I mean if it starts to crack, it I'll change the handle. But you know, you use the handle for the job. This is not for driving uh, you know, six foot T posts in the ground. You know, it's almost you know, look at this S Twing. They're almost identical size wise, except this one's steel. You know, the handle and everything. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I kind of, this one's got a lot of, oof. You realize you've got a lot of top heavy on this one. But I don't care. I got $3 in the handle and the head was a gift at Christmas and a pile of junk. So. I repurposed it. It's it's a good usable hammer. I mean, it's not made. It this thing's not designed for, like I said, driving T post or just sitting there you know, wailing on metal. It's uh, use the use the hammer for the job. You don't uh, you don't uh, try to use a wrong. I I don't know what else to say except uh, use use what it's called for. And this for small jobs, for knocking things loose, maybe setting ha hammer handles in. I don't know, short handle hammer like this. And even if it does split down here, I'm not worried about the handle breaking off. But the only thing I'd be worried about is in through here is where the wormholes are. But time will tell. Yeah, I, I think it's a good hammer for, for the money and what uh, I've done to it and my time. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That's what I present you. Uh, nice, usable, three-pound, shorty, stubby handle. You guys, tell me what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, tell me. And uh, there again, my tools, my rules. It's the way I, I fix tools the best I can with what I got. And... Uh, I'm trying to do it, uh, repurpose secondhand junk tools, bring my tools back to where my tool collection or actually my working tools. You know, I might wind up taking this to work. Seems like more and more I'm using more and more tools at work. All right, well, that's enough babbling. I don't feel good anyway. So, y'all have a good day. Enjoy your evening and, uh, Hopefully the rest of the new year for y'all is outstanding, just outstanding year for y'all. Thanks now.